on your mat or in the kneeling position point your toes and then I want you to have a look at my feet make sure your heels are not dropping to the sides try to bring your heels under your sitting bones so you're stretching the ankles here if this is not accessible you can place the blanket or towel or block under your bum here so it is a little bit more accessible we're gonna hold this position for one minute let's uh, start i will put on some music for us Okay, keeping your spine upright in this position and while we are holding here, let's raise the arms up towards the ceiling, interlace the fingers, pressing the palms up. With your palms, try to push up towards the ceiling and breathe into your ribcage. Last three, two, and one. Release. Now open your feet and sit between your heels. Roll the calves out. Sit down on the floor. If not accessible, again take the block or blanket, place it under your bum. Bring your uh, big toes closer towards your hips, sitting upright. Raising your arms up on your inhale. Turn your torso to the right left hand outside of your right knee right hand on the floor behind your back and inhale arms up other side exhale Keep lifting your heart up and turning more towards the left side. The gaze will turn the last. You're going to start from your navel up to the center of your chest, up to your shoulder, to your chin. And last thing is your gaze. And release. Let's come to the uh, downward facing dog. Hands shoulder distance, feet hip distance, pedal up your legs, right leg. Breathe. And bring your feet to the Lift your right leg up, bend the knee, open the hip. Imagine your knee is a pen. Draw the circles with your pen. Big circle, 360 degrees. Make sure you're only using your hip joint to move. Your knee, your ankle, do not move. Just your hip joint. Make sure you go nice and slow, feeling that circle fully. And switch the direction. Other side. And back to the center. Downward facing leg. Next inhale. Other leg up. Knee bend. Keep open. Draw in the circles with your other knee. One. Two. Three. Four. And five. 
and one back to the center. We repeat, both arms up, inhale, twist, halfway, exhale, inhale, lengthen through your spine, and exhale, full forward, five, four, three, two, one, back to center, other side, breathe in, turn, halfway, exhale, Inhale, lengthen more. Exhale, fold forward. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Back to the center. Okay. So here is the trick. If you're able to go all the way down with your belly onto the floor, you don't go so deep, you go to the point where you can hold yourself. If you are a little bit tighter, you go to your own level. So we're gonna call the hands behind your head and then we're gonna go to that point where we can hold ourselves. So if it's here for you, you stay. If it's here for you, make sure your chest is not touching, squeezing your bumps and coming back up. If you're already feeling the stretch in sitting upright position, you just gonna hold here. For the rest of us, we do this five more times. Breathe in, breathe out, go to your maximum, hover, and coming back up. Four more, inhale, halfway or lower, hold, three, two, one, coming back up. Last three times, inhale, go into your max, hold, three, two, one, and coming back up. Last one, okay? If you like, for the last, you can extend the arms forward, but make sure your arms in line with your ears when you do that. Breathe in, and let's go hover. If you like arms extend, this is more weight. If you want to work a little bit harder, press the back of your knees towards the floor, flex your feet, hold three, two, and one. Coming back up. Very good. Okay. Now, we're gonna place one or two blocks under your right foot. So if you are already sitting onto the block, you don't need to do that. If this position is pretty much comfortable for you, one or two blocks can go under your right foot, okay? If two is too high, then you make one. Otherwise, don't need a block. This is just to get you a little bit deeper. We go into the side body stretch. So your left arm is up, opposite to the right leg, which is on the block. And exhale, go down. Then up again. Exhale, go down. Work on bringing the right shoulder inside of your right knee. Inhale, exhale. When we're doing this, the legs stay active, flexing both of the feet, pressing the back knee down towards the floor. Three more, inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, last time, inhale, exhale, and we stay, if you're able to grab the foot, go ahead, if you're able to bring the shoulder inside, go ahead, you can straighten your arms, and try to press the left hip down towards the floor, so don't let it lift up too much. If you're not able to grab your foot, just stay halfway, but make sure your chest is turning up towards the ceiling rather than you're facing down. So you want to stretch the side body as well as your hip. Five, four, three, two, and one. Back to the center. Okay, other leg. Switch the blocks if you were using them. Okay, 
be prepared. Five times. Inhale, lengthen from your right up. Exhale, go sideways. One. Inhale. Legs active. Two. Inhale. Right hip grounded. Three. Inhale. And four. Inhale. Five. We hold. Come to your maximum. Grab your foot if available. Try to bring the left shoulder more inside. Left shoulder reach towards the foot or stay in a half position. If too much for your shoulder, you can always bend the right elbow and point the elbow towards the ceiling. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Back to the center. Nicely done. Now, again, if you are sitting on the block, you stay there. If again, you're pretty comfortable here, you take your two blocks and place it under each heel. So your legs a little bit more elevated. And from here, we will repeat the previous set where we were uh, going down like a pancake. Same way, just it will be a little bit deeper. Again, legs active work on pressing the back of the knees down towards the floor squeezing your quadricep so and squeezing your bum okay if you want work even harder if you have a weight you can always reach the weight over the hip and then you go down all right let's begin five times on the fifth we're gonna hold inhale prepare exhale one Inhale, exhale, two. Inhale, exhale, three. Inhale, exhale, four. Last time, if you like, arms over the hip. Inhale, and exhale. Go and hold. Five, four, three. Two and one. Very good. Coming up, stretch the legs forward, shake your legs. Now let's work a little bit on mobility here before we come back to the middle splits. You can bend the knees and open your feet about uh, slightly wider than the hip distance. Just drop the knees to your left and center to the right and center and again to the left center to the right and center. three more exit towards the floor and work on pressing the left hip down towards the floor holding in this position 30 seconds let's go this one is internal rotation for your left leg because leg goes inwards and external rotation for your right leg If you have somebody to press on your right knee, they can help you to stretch deeper or somebody to press on your left hip. Okay, and release other side, dropping your hips to the left and same way, placing the left ankle on top and pressing your left knee down towards the floor right hip down towards the floor
locks and then when you open your legs you're gonna place those blocks uh, this way so second level of the blocks you're gonna place them under your knees um, if you've never done this before you're not used to it it might be a little bit painful because of the sharpness of the block uh, if it is so feel free to wrap the towel around the block or you can always place the block under your mat so it's a little bit softer on your skin okay so from here we're gonna just raise the right leg up I'm gonna turn slightly sideways so you can see my leg so right leg lifts up toe point and down again right leg up so point and down 10 times each leg then 10 times two legs okay so let's go right leg one two each time squeeze the quad three four five six seven Legs up, prepare to hold. 
uh, legs up, shift forward, back up, hold, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and relax. So apart from stretching, you're a little bit conditioning your skin here. If it hurts slightly, it's fine. No problem. You can just wear uh, leggings instead of shorts like me and it will be okay. Shake your legs. Okay, we come back to our rotation, to our mobility, and then we come back to the stretching. Okay, so same way like we were here uh, just now, we was dropping the knees to one side and another side. This time, we're gonna drop the knees to one side and then imagine you're going to your pigeon pose, so your back leg stretching back. Then your back leg comes back to the center. You are here, you drop to the other side, then your back leg stretching back. Tucking the back toe, pressing this hip down towards the floor. All right, got it? If not, watch me one more time. You are here, legs open, drop to the left, right leg stretch back, right hip press down. Back to the center, drop to the right side, left leg stretch, left hip pressing down. Let's do this couple of more times. I give you one minute to practice so you can go at your own pace. If any parts feel a little bit stuck, stay there a little longer. Okay? And go ahead. One minute. If you can, you do it without using your hands. However, if you kind of stuck here, you can always support with your hand at the back and move on to the other side. Last about 15 seconds here. Okay, whichever side you are in, come to the pigeon on that side. So for the pigeon, we're gonna go a little bit deeper than usual. So you will lift the hips slightly and move the foot slightly more in front. So the bend in your knee is more than 90 degree now. If you're able, your hip go down to the floor. If not, take the block, slide under your hip and sit on the block. Otherwise, just hover your hips off the floor. So from here, you try and go down towards the bend knee. One minute on this side. Stay back and reaching the chest forward. Pressing the hip of the straight leg down towards the floor. Okay. And coming up, go back to the center and switching to the other side. Pigeon on the other side. 
And I remind you, lift the hips slightly up. Move the bent uh, leg, uh, bent foot slightly forward. Again, if you need, slide the hip, uh, slide the block under your hip. And hold this side also. One minute. Twenty six. Close. Open. Close. Okay? When you open, 
push the feet down towards the floor. And okay, let's go ten times and begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And both knees to your chest, half knees, hold it. Okay, roll to one side and coming up. You can uh, remove your weights for the next round. The next round, we're gonna do the froggy. Frog position. Um, if your frog is already flat, please use the blocks under your knees. If not flat, don't use the blocks. Just try to go as low towards the ground as you can. We're gonna hold the frog three minutes. Okay. So if you're using the blocks, place the knees inside the knees on top of the blocks. That will give you a little bit of lift. Okay, check there is a 90 degree angle in your knee. And let's go down here. I will start the timer in three minutes. And we begin. Okay, within these three minutes, we will do some activation as well. Uh, maybe on the second, on the second minutes. So now, just try to relax. Stay if you're able. You go down with your belly, with your chest, or you stay with your arms straight or on your forearm. Just relax for a moment. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Relax the right and the left. Up and down. Let's go. One, two, three. Another 20 seconds. Yeah, I know it is very painful. I also feel it. It's just a matter of getting used to it. This is and the matter of how you react to the pain. Idea is you need to be able to relax into your pain. Okay, let's come out. Okay, and bring the knees together, slowly sit back on your heels, lift yourself up, sit back on your heels, lift yourself up, couple of times, sit back, lift up, and then it's a good thing to do, a cobra in between, so you can relax in your hip flexor. And back to the child's pose, then again into the cobra, and back into the child's pose, and last time come into the cobra and stay there. <laughs> yeah, I know. You think like the stretching is easy? No. Actually, I sweat a lot more. Um, when I do when I do the stretch rather than when I do the cardio I don't know why but it is like you put so much effort into this and then it's uh, so intense okay next thing let's um, get back to your um, ankle weights if you have them and have some uh, wall space let me read yes it is difficult for the runner of course because if you guys run you have to stretch every time after your run otherwise your hip uh, flexibility will be gone for sure but if you run make sure at least 20 30 minutes you should you should stretch yeah please do especially here hip flexor especially here the quad a lot in the calf yeah all right let's go to the walls and then we will lie down but close to the wall you lie down on the back and you open the legs wide apart Okay, so from here, once you are here, if your hamstring is tighter, you need to come away from the wall a little bit. But if you're able to straighten the legs like this, your butt should be touching the wall. And then from this position, open the legs as wide as you can. If you have the weights, the weights will pull your legs down. If not, just let the gravity pull your legs down. 
The idea is to reach the feet down towards the ground. So here we have a slightly passive stretch. Uh, not slightly, it is a passive stretch, but if you're using your weight, it's also a little bit of assisted stretch. Just relax here for a moment, stay. Okay, from this position, you're gonna imagine you are coming into the frog. So you bend in the knee slightly and then you straighten in the leg. Let's assume you are here, you're not able to go lower. You bend in the knee slightly, straighten the leg and try to bring your legs wider. Then again, bend, straighten, try to bring the legs wider. Five more, bend, straighten, open the legs wider. Bend, straighten, wider. Two more. Bend, straighten, go wider. Last time. Bend, straighten, go wider and hold. Last ten. Nine, eight, seven, six. Yeah? 
Make sure hip, knee, ankle align. All right. So you're gonna start with your rolling exercise three to five times. Let's go. I do three times with you. And then last time we're gonna hold together. Ready? And let's go. Lift the palm. Roll the hip forward. And go down. Coming back. Lift yourself back up. And you are in the pinky. Lift. Roll the hip. Go down. Lift. Roll the hip and go back. Last time. Lift. Roll. Go down. And last one. Lift. Roll. Go back. All right. Now we're going to stay in the middle, please. So if you need to stand up, open your legs, do so. If you're able to roll from here, do so. If you have your flat middle split, have the block or two under each heel. And prepare. I will time you guys for one minute. If you have time, please hold it to three minutes, okay? I will let you know when one minute is gone, when one minute is past. But if you have time, try to hold for another two minutes. Thirty seconds already passed. And again, when you're here, try to activate your quads. So think of pressing your groins down towards the floor. Okay. 